Hi folks, I'm from LGG3Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a backup ROM uh, on your LG G3 using Torque Recovery. Um, for those of you who want to install new custom ROMs on your LG G3, uh, the first thing you should do is learn how to make a backup ROM. Uh, basically what this will do is you know, back up all of your apps, all your app data. Uh, you won't back up your personal files, um, videos, and stuff in your internal storage, obviously, because you know some of those files can be big. Um, but this is highly recommended before you install a custom ROM. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Uh, first, of course, I'm assuming you have a rooted LG G3 and also Torque Recovery installed. Now, some of the variants right now, there's no Torque Recovery actually at the moment of this video, but by the time you watch it, it may be available. Uh, I'm using the T-Mobile LG G3 here. I've got it rooted with Torque Recovery installed. If you don't know how to do this, go to my site, lgg3root.com. Um, it will show you how. So let's reboot into recovery. Um, the fastest way you can do this is just get quick boot here, quick boot, uh, and then hit recovery. And we're gonna go ahead and make a backup ROM of our stock ROM. What this will do is when you end up in a boot loop or something, you can quickly recover your stock ROM and get your phone working again. Um, so here's a bunch of menus. Um, obviously, you want to choose the backup menu. All right. And you'll be able to choose uh, storage here. Uh, you can use internal storage or you can insert a micro SD card. My preferred method these days is use one of these uh, OTG enabled USB cards, uh, USB flash drives. You can use it as a USB flash and also it's OTG. Also, you can get an OTG cable and use any of your favorite uh, flashcards. But this way, you'll always have a stock ROM backup uh, in your flash disk and you can just leave it aside. Uh, that way, it, it won't take up space in your internal storage or your micro SD card. Um, Torp supports OTG, all, all the Torp. And you can do this actually on any Android device. And I'm going to go ahead and choose OTG there. And you'll see that after I insert it, um, it shows that I have... Uh, 30 gigs so I'm gonna hit OK and you can set a name here and I like to usually set it uh, to just stock so I'll just put stock S T O C K all right and hit go and swipe and this will start backing up all of my system files um, for those of you wondering where you can get the OTG, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones. I actually got this one in uh, Korea uh, a couple months back. But um, there's a bunch of them. I'll have links in the description if you want to get one of these. Highly recommend it if you're going to install a lot of custom ROMs uh, because these backups can take around, um, you can see, 5 gigs almost there. Um, so it's a big big backup file but it shouldn't take too long the LG G3 is super fast so I'll be back when this is completely done hi folks so it is finally done um you know my backup is actually almost five gigabytes uh the reason is that I have a lot of games um that my daughter downloaded uh but if you don't have any big games installed um your backup should only be around two gigabytes uh, but with obviously a couple of big games, my backup ended up around uh, five gigabytes. All right. So let's imagine that you you ended up in a boot loop, right? Um, so let me go ahead and reboot system here. And let's say you're in a boot loop, right? Then what you want to do uh, is pull the battery. All right. And then uh, we're going to do the manual boot. We're going to imagine that my phone is in a boot loop. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hold down power and the volume down. Uh, and then when you see the LG logo, you're going to let it go for a split second and hold it down again. So ready, set, go. I'm holding both volume down and power. Uh, let go and hold it again. Keep holding down the two buttons. And this will enter you. Uh, into factory data reset. Now, make sure you have Twerp Recovery installed. Otherwise, if you have stock recovery, this will erase everything on your phone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. All right. And I'm going to say yes. And this will enter you into uh, Twerp Recovery. And we're going to go ahead and grab our flash drive. Or if you have your backup in your uh, internal storage or um, 
your uh, micro SD card, that will also work too. And then we're gonna simply go, you don't have to do any wipe, simply restore, all right? And then go ahead and choose storage. Uh, if it doesn't read right away, just try switching back and forth. There we go. And then it will read it. And you'll see that I have the stock uh, back up here. Simply choose that. All right, and go ahead and swipe to restore. And restore should be a lot faster because uh, you're reading off um, the disk drive. And uh, this should take another five minutes or so. And then once it's restored, we're gonna reboot and see that our stock ROM has been restored. Um, so, you know, this is also a great way to back up different custom ROMs. Let's say uh, you install CM11 this week, and then you're gonna install this new ROM called Paranoid Android next week. Um, instead of just erasing everything, you can make a backup ROM and then install the new ROM. If it, you know, if you have problems with Wi-Fi or something wrong with it, then you can go easily back to the previous ROM uh, by restoring your ROM. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, folks, so my restore is complete. Um, so let's go ahead and reboot system now. And you just learned how to back up and restore ROMs. Um, so definitely always make a backup ROM. And this goes for any Android device. You should always make a one backup ROM. Um, you know, for example, you want to return your phone to uh, T-Mobile for, uh, you know, warranty or something. You can easily restore your stock ROM, do a factory reset, and your phone is completely stock, 100%. Um, there's no root and, uh, you know, there you go. I have all, all my apps here. And also make sure you have enough battery. Um, I obviously didn't have enough battery and, uh, you know, make sure you have enough battery when you do this. Uh, but that was how to backup and restore ROMs uh, using your LG G3 uh, Twerp Recovery. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you have an LG G3, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at lgg3root.com. And as always, uh, stay on Android.